like, bro. She got, she got a kid. Look at his back. Oh my god. <laughs> another reaction man got my get my guy back here back in the reactions you know reacting to another jesse lee peterson video ultimate savage moments man no filter bro no filter i, I, I just be sick kasim kadrif bro and he god what stutter was telling you this nigga jesse is troll man you know there's hint there's little hints of truth in there but that's what kind of makes it even funny. they called him savage lee for a reason bro i mean yeah, oh man. wait that oh <laughs> Hey man, that's what, oh, makes, hey, that's what makes it funnier because these dudes sit on here and try to make sense of what they're talking about, but it's nonsensical and it's just it's just it's all based. Point. It's all based in failing. It's not based in any real stats or you know real proof or like growth or development. It's like what what is this going? Because because yeah, because yesterday growth is not going to be the same as today. It can go up down. It could go left right. Like I don't know what the hell. Jesse Lee Peters is hilarious. Let us know if you want to see more of them down in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe, and share, man. Road to K3. Yeah, you want to hit, <laughs> you want to hit 3,000 subscribers, man. But it's the road to 10K 3, subscribers. Hey, we want to hammer to the video. Let's go. A mess. <laughs> does white privilege exist? Absolutely. It does. Absolutely. And where's the proof of that? All around. You know, if you, you know I tell people. What's that often, all around her head? Now, in hindsight, um, one of the things. That I wish I would have been see more cognizant. Why is he sitting in a black hole? Like that was sitting, you know, right next to you. For black people, I believe white people. That's why they need the couch is light, bro. I'm losing couches. I don't see it anywhere. What is it? Huh? The couch is white privilege. What do you feel like people who don't see it? How do you not? What? How do you not see white privilege? Because it doesn't exist. That's what it is. Because it's what isn't exactly. I believe white well, privilege. not on the rainbow. It uh, don't exist. It's just the ability just to be free and white free and not and have white. the same type of social, economic, uh, and social ills as black people have to deal with. I mean, there's there's no uh, white racial profiling. White people don't get pulled over by the cops just because they're white. Um, they have the ability to, um, you know, show emotion and and love to their sons without being emasculated. Uh, there's all kinds of examples That's of amazing. white privilege. Absolutely. That. Why don't you? You black. How come you don't believe white privilege exists? What you see? I see that uh, white people have the same struggles and things that we have. In that, what type uh, of struggles they have? To do make they have their marriages work. They have to uh, make their children help their kids grow up in the right way so that they can earn a living and be independent. But they also have the majority they of their fathers their kids, at home. Right, and the reason for that, mm. it's starting to change somewhat now, but the reason for that is because they are taking responsibility for that, whereas black men and women are not taking responsibility for that as they did prior to the civil rights movement. But that doesn't mean that that doesn't excuse racism. No, that doesn't excuse institutional uh -huh. racism. That doesn't excuse. But then, if they would have pulled the same, if they would have raided the Capitol, did, 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 did you hear what he said before? If they were people weren't begging for shit before the civil rights. If they, they raided the cap, if they raided the capital, no one gives a fuck about niggas raiding the capital. No, that, no, no that's, that's what I'm saying. Times. If it was, if they raided the capital back then when they were slaves, over Civil War two, bro. Like I. They talk like, bro, yeah, you can literally go destroy buildings and say it was for some, a protest. Like, back in, bro, they got shot for holding flags and, like, signs. Like, are you kidding me? Bro, what, what privilege? Waters. What privilege are you looking for? Like, well, even if there is white privilege, are you not going to move past it and try to better yourself? Like, what are you? Yeah, that's, that's the Are you thing. just sitting and observing and that's being salty? Said. Like, that's what black people were able to do before. Like, before, for some reason, we, did, we just got used to uh this leeching almost like this leeching off of people expecting other people to take care of us. It's, we're almost looking for always looking for someone to just show the guide us to show us the way. You need please. to guide ourselves first. You know, it starts first in the family, man. You gotta it take starts first mentally too, bro. You need to get all that anguish out yourself. Yeah, we need to build that all community. That we need, and that's what I'm saying. We really need to build that community again. No no it's, it's an illusion it's made awesome. up by black people. Exactly. Yeah. An illusion. Uh, it exists. Well, Sorry. where's the proof of it? Though? Where's the proof of it? There are many kids who are getting into, black kids who are uh, allowed to get into these universities around the country, right? Based on affirmative action. And uh, because of affirmative action, based on their color. That's 
discrimination all based them, on color. All them that certificates wrong. That's just American. That's just American. They're not earning their way. They do that shit on purpose. They do that shit on purpose. They do that shit on purpose. College was so low. College, college was free at one point. Colleges were just being made. How do you go from that to being f half a million dollars in debt? For what? You just spend the rest of your life paying it off. They, man, I'm telling you, they, they set up all this shit. Because they knew how it was all going to unravel. They knew how it was all going to unravel. They knew, oh, I don't know. It's so, I don't. So for people to say oh, that it's fat now, that the human mind span is 15 seconds, because y'all on TikTok doing this, on Facebook doing the same thing, Instagram, Tinder, dating apps. Y'all just moving your finger, laying in bed. I feel like you got a whole pizza on your media. chest right now. That social media allowing people to express certain behaviors they wouldn't be able to express back in the day when they didn't be, be, like we're out and about. You can't yeah, like you can't so, talk to somebody like bro. That if you tell someone face, you got the way y'all be talking to people on the internet, you couldn't talk. You wouldn't talk to somebody like that in their face unless you were really about it. Right. I'm a product of affirmative action. When I went to UCLA, it was because I was an affirmative action student. I'm sorry to hear that. And, and I think I turned out fantastic. So, and so a lot of my peers who were having challenges getting into some of these predominantly white institutions, the affirmative action was great. My father went to, to Harvard. You know, he was one of very few blacks. Was he an affirmative action person? I don't, I don't, don't know if he was. A, that was back in the late 60s. Yeah, I don't he was He okay. earned his way. So, that being said, I still believe that Affirmative action helped me get into UCLA and it gave me access to You would to not have gotten in there on your own because you were not smart enough? I don't know if I wasn't smart enough, but based on the curve and what I was competing with, with, with you know, other individuals who had different uh, opportunities and Make them. teachers, That's what you want I mean, all the time. coming from, you know, the LA Unified School District. I mean, so at the time, I think LAUSD was still pretty good, but I went oh, to all oh. white schools, um, from high school, the fact that she's even saying white school, you get into the school, like, bro, we're just human based on your own talent. America, that's not America, that's not race. You're not even African American. Not You're American. American. Like, what are you doing? Like, like have you've never have set foot in Africa. Well, first of all, you had the same opportunity as white kids were having. Not necessarily. I had different teachers. I'm Mexican, but I was born in America. I'm talking about going into UCLA. I still had to do, be able to deal with some of the issues and going to predominantly white schools, like but what? I still had to be able to compete. Like what? This is why robots are like going to take over. I went to, when I, to, <laughs> no. I, I would graduate from university high school, and at the time they didn't Where's have African American Batman, Student Union. Uh, we, An African American Student Union? Mm -hmm, at the school. Well, but that's a good thing. They didn't have one. That's a good thing. Why? Why do you need something like that? They, well, they have Asian student unions. They have Jewish student unions. They did, have all kind of different. Did they have white unions. student unions? They need student unions. They, they own the whole school. I think all cultures should be able to to segregate and to be able to work within their cultures and what a waste of time. Cultures, absolutely. Does racism exist? I believe racism. Martin Luther King Jr. go like this in this grave. He <laughs> <laughs> rolls in his grave. Oh, oh, economics of black people. But that has nothing to do with racism. <laughs> it's, it's it's racism is about power. It's about who is in control. And black people can't be racist because we're not in control. We're not in control of the educational system, the some of the social uh, oh organizations and things that run this country. We're not in control. Racism is about power. But and look, and look at their standing your own life. She's more Protecting, like covering herself, and they taught like, you how to be independent. And he's more relaxed. And they taught you how to build, you know how to take exactly. care of. I'm going to talk about it. The reason I left where I live over there in the she has an iPad. She has her hands. Is that once the white people left? Because once I moved there, when I first moved there, were mostly whites. But once they left, as they did in Gary, Indiana, and other places, the blacks turned it into a ghetto. A beautiful area went to hell in a handbasket, so I got out. But if blacks had more character and they were taking care of themselves and being responsible and buying land and teaching their children. Because old enough to be right. so that has to be racist. But that has to, of course, that has not to be So it's not racist. It's not white people's fault that you're not teaching your children to do that. No, but, but it's not, if if the parents children, don't know. know. They if don't the parents, know. If so, but that's if, not if white people's fault, though. It, but if they go into some of these institutions, she she predominantly white Come institutions, on, they are targeted. They don't have the same opportunities because of their color. Come on to the light. Stop letting these people fool you. You're a beautiful queen that That's I can take crazy. care of us, me, yourself. Are you a Christian? Everybody. I am not. You're not a Christian? No. And how, where do you put yourself as 
concern a religion. I don't know why Maybe I'm multi-religious, if that makes sense. No. <laughs> I am a person who believes in faith and goodness holistically. No. Mason, I've noticed that Mason. women today, not all, not all, but mostly liberal women, mm. they seem to be, they pretend to be tough, but yet when you see these type of movements, they are saying that they're weak. You know, they need laws and they accuse men. It's as though they don't know how to or have the strength to say no to a man or to walk away. Whereas when I need me a man to do this, they're like cleaning the gutters or something. Unplugging the toilet. I need me a man to do this. Look at you. But you hate all men, right? I don't know. I see it back and forth. Men hating on women. Women hating on men. Everyone just seems to be very insecure right now. I think y'all always need to put your phones down. What did down. Joe Rogan say? Put your phones down. I see who really got game. I see who really know what they talking about. Go out there and talk to somebody. He Go said out there and associate. Hard times make soft times. Soft times makes soft men, soft men make hard times, and hard times makes hard men. It's all a cycle, bro. I mean, you have to think about it. How many young African males don't have their dad? I don't have my dad, bro. That's, that's what I'm saying. It's getting scary You're seeing all these fucking kids fucking stomping. And then fucking, you... do, 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 do. What the fuck is that? Fucking gang songs talking about shooting yeah, and killing. Bro, what the fuck y'all know? Right, have that. you not listened to old music? It has nothing to do with oh, it. All my I'm not saying. Yeah. I think we're gonna make you. And I bring out. And I finally found you. Now I gotta talk about. Oh, Shoot that nigga in his face. Shot his mama. Killed his grandma. But his fucking hood away. Shoot that nigga in his face. Shot his mama. Killed his grandma. But his fucking hood away. Yeah, yeah, young boy all day. Yeah. Niggas is like, I don't know what the hell. He said, he said, what did, uh, what's his name? Man, Bosky, man, what's his name? What Comethacine. He's like, your crew came up. He was, he like, he's talking about how his crew came up, should have shoot his hood up. He only had one gun, so please come back. He's like, all right, what? <laughs> all your homies could be dead on the ground, bro. You just want to like spin it's back? He said, spin back? Excuse me? Hey, but that's Black. Peterson's fucking hilarious, bro. Last night, if you want to see more down in the comments, hit the like button, subscribe, and share, man. So, to 10k subscribers. We'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.